welcome back we'll start with a new topic trachoma the agent which is causing the trachoma is c trachomatis of immune type a b or c these are the serotypes of c trachomatis and the serotypes from d to k that is d e f g h i j k of sexually transmitted c trachomatic may infect and cause eye disease okay the serotypes from d to k uh, of sexually transmitted diseases that is c trachomatic will uh, spread this infection and it may infect and cause eye diseases okay. ocular discharges of infected person and fomites are the sources of infection uh, when the people come in contact with the discharges or ocular discharges of infected person or when they come in contact with the fomites which they use infected person use then they will get the infection and the host factors mostly in, it occur in children from the age of 2 to 5 years and prevalence of trachoma is equal in younger age groups it is present in the children and in case of older age group females are more affected than males as they remain in contact with the children since females are always with the children they may get the infection from the children and the environmental factors include rainfall Increased temperature which favors fly population, poor quality of life, poor personal hygiene, poor housing, illiteracy, customs such as application of kajal or surma, dust, smoke and direct sunlight. So these are the environmental factors which may uh, enhance the fly production or uh, transfer of uh, agent, transfer of infections. In mode of transmission, direct contact with the infected ocular discharges may uh, transfer the infection from the infected person to the healthy person. And indirect contact with the infected ocular discharges such as kajal, surma, towels or infected fingers, this may also uh, spread the infection. And venereal transmission occurred due to the genital localization of C. trachomatis. When there is a C. trachomatis in the private region or the genital local, uh, genital area, then it may uh, spread the infection of trachoma. The incubation period includes 6 to 12 days. And how you can assess the case? That is through epidemiological survey to assess the magnitude of the problem. Okay, How much uh, the cases are present. Uh, to survey that, you can use the epidemiological survey. In the treatment, here you use uh, antibiotic that is tetracycline, 1% ointment and other can be rifampicin and erythromycin can be used. And uh, there, were, there are mass treatment. If there is a case prevalent in a particular area, then that is more than 5% severe and moderate trachoma in children under 10 years of age. If there is any cases such as children more than uh, sorry under the 10 years are getting this infection then you can go for the mass treatment that is 1% tetracycline uh, 2 times a day for 5 consecutive days can be given uh, in each month <coughs> or you can go for 1% tetracycline one, once per day uh, for 10 days each month for 6 consecutive months also can be done and the next one you can go for surgery that is surgery surgical procedure required in case of late deformities such as entropion or extropion should be done there are two cases extropion and entropion in those cases you can go for the surgery by this blindness can be prevented otherwise complication will be the blindness and the health education uh, people need to be educated regarding the personal and environmental hygiene. Okay, if you uh, maintain the personal and environmental hygiene, then there is so case uh, uh, scenarios in which the case will spread or uh, the fly will be born and the cases or agents are transplanted. There is no such cases will be occurring. So you should maintain the health, uh, personal and environmental hygiene properly. So that's all about the trauma. We'll see in the next topic. Thank you.